What's up guys, it's JT here and welcome to my first Retro Tech review. Today we are taking a look at the first ever iPad dock, released back in 2010. This keyboard dock was designed to transform the original iPad into a more laptop-like experience, providing a physical keyboard for those who preferred the tactile feedback of keys. As you can see, the iPad keyboard dock is made of white plastic which matches the color of the original iPad. It has a simple and minimal design, which was characteristic of Apple's product at the time. One thing to note is that the dock is pretty bulky and takes up a lot of deck space, which may be a turn off for many users. The keyboard itself is full size and has a chiclet style layout, similar to that you did find on a MacBook. The, key have, the keys have a good amount of travel and provide decent tactile feedback, making typing on this keyboard a relatively pleasant experience. However, the keyboard doesn't provide any adjustable angles, which means you are stuck with the default viewing angle of the iPad. One of the benefits of using the iPad keyboard dock is that it, it charges your, your iPad while it's docked, so you don't have to worry about running out of battery. Additionally, having a physical keyboard can increase your typing speed and accuracy, especially if you are someone who isn't used to typing on a touchscreen. However, there are some downsides to the iPad keyboard dock. Firstly, it only works with the first generation iPad. So if you have a newer model, you are out of luck. Secondly, the dock doesn't allow any adjustable angles, which can be a deal breaker for some users who prefer to have more flexibility with their viewing angle. Overall, the first iPad keyboard dock was a decent accessory for its time, providing a physical keyboard for the original iPad. While it may not be as versatile as some of the keyboard cases and docks that we have today, it's interesting to see how this accessory paved the way for various keyboard accessories that we have today. Thanks for joining me for this Retro Tech review, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.